fostering 17 years now and I've fostered at the last count about 250 children. There's no particular type of person who can foster and, and foster carers come from a range of different backgrounds, couples, single people, gay people, lesbians, uh, disabled people um, and people from all sorts of different ethnicities, cultures and religions. I think you definitely have to sit down as a family. It's a family discussion and you should listen to the, those child's point of view, but age appropriate. It might sound like a good idea to children having someone else coming into the, the home who they think might be a playmate, but actually it's not always as straightforward as that. And they need to consider things like sharing of toys and, and having children use up some of their parents' time when they might have been used to having that all to themselves. It really is up to you what age category you want to take. So you can say, I've changed my age category over the 17 years I've been fostering. So at one stage I would just take babies and then three to five year olds and then seven to 11 year olds. It's different to looking after your own children because the children who need to be fostered will often have had difficult experiences. Often children have been subject to abuse. Some are there because of court orders. Um, some are there because of illness of parents. Sometimes children have got specific needs arising from, from disabilities or medical needs. The most important person is a supervising social worker who is allocated to them, who will meet with them on a regular basis. And it's a matter of meeting the child's needs, so actually identifying how you can work with them, what resources you can put in, what help you can get. And provide the, the support that they need to do the job well. You get an allowance um, which basically helps you with the everyday costs of that child living with you. So the allowance is actually broken down into a clothing allowance, um, travel costs allowance, electricity, gas. So yes, you do get an allowance. Short-term or task-centred fostering is a type of fostering that can last between days and years but is primarily about looking after a child while other plans are made for them. Permanent or, or long-term fostering is about providing a family for a child on a permanent basis. Short break fostering is about providing periods of care which could be weekends or over holidays, um, often for disabled children um, or other children to give parents a break. There might be occasions when people are asked to foster relatives which might be grandchildren, nephews, nieces um, and in these circumstances the local authority responsible for the child will contact that individual and ask them if they would be in a position to help by doing that. It's about um, having a relationship with the child and being there at a time when the child particularly needs them to help them through a difficult period or sometimes to help them become part of their family on a permanent basis. What's rewarding about fostering is that you make a difference no matter how big or small and if that child can feel part of a family for a short period of time in their life then you have made a difference. Mm -hmm.